The end goal of a wildfire is to contain it at a manageable and workable perimeter. Two strategies are used to achieve containment, direct and indirect attack. Direct attack is a strategy in which firefighters, aircrafts, heavy equipment are in direct contact with the wildfire's perimeter. A handline or machine guard is constructed that closely follows the fire's perimeter, and a water delivery system is established to extinguish the flames. If water isn't available, any pockets of fuel can be cleaned up by using small-scale hand ignitions. Direct fire attack is used for sections of wildfires with lower fire intensity, usually when the fire behavior is between rank 1 and 3, and fire growth can be slowed with aerial support. Indirect attack is used when firefighters can't safely engage directly with an area of the wildfire because the fire behavior and rate of spread is significant and direct attack methods are ineffective, or when the fire perimeter is inaccessible due to steep and dangerous terrain. Indirect attack is a way to reduce the fire intensity and move the wildfire to an area where it is safe for personnel and equipment to work. Firefighters will use natural fuel breaks such as bodies of waters or wetlands, rocky areas, and man-made barriers such as roads and pre-constructed control lines to create fuel breaks surrounding the wildfire. The fuel between these barriers is burned using strategies to keep the fire intensity low, so when the wildfire reaches the fuel it is already burned and there is nothing left for it to consume. The separation between the fire's edge and the control lines can be as small as 100 meters or several kilometers away. Indirect attack can also be used in conjunction with traditional and cultural burning practices in areas where forest ecology, health and suppression can work together.